get back. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. Um, that was awesome. Well, thank you, all of you, for your testimonies. It was uh, tremendous. So, um, topics. Right? Does anyone have any topics that they wanted to share with us? Um, right off the top. Oh, I just thought of one. What, what, what is it? Sticking to it is like what's important. And a lot of times people don't stick to it. So, like, I guess that's a topic like how to stick to actually to it and not just let it fade away. <laughs> I like that topic. I like the hand. How to stick to it. Oh, can I say something really cool that I heard? It's yeah. like, it has the same thing. Okay, so Heather's sister Autumn, she was doing this Bible study with us for um, part of worship, and she did a really good metaphor, and it was like, like at um, retreats or something like that, like you're a fresh cut flower, and then like slowly but surely, like, like flowers die, and like, I guess like the spirit you have just kind of like dies, because it's not as intense. Does that make sense? That was totally not what it was. It was something like it, though, yeah. but like, uh -huh. I yeah. I, I, I know what you're... Yeah, weather's away, weather's away. If you remove Jesus is the water, and if you remove yourself from the water, you shrivel up and die. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah. So basically, so basically the, the analogy is that if you're a fresh-cut flower and you remove yourself from the water, well, the, you're going to dry it, shrivel up and dry up. And the same thing works for Christians with the mountaintop experiences and whatnot. So um, one of the things that I thought was interesting from the, uh, from the speaker was the... Um, the analogy about the mountaintop and the valley, and, and how the mountaintop you may it, you're close to God and it's a great experience, but nothing grows on the mountaintop. You have to go through the valley to get to to the growth. So, um, what do you guys think about the topic as far as how do you how do you maintain the mountaintop experience, or how do you how do you stick to it? All right. I was just gonna say, listening to Christian music helps. Because it's like you're all energized and ready to go. You're energized all the time. <laughs> One of the things you can do is hang out with Christian friends. Um, another thing that I, it's been, it's always been difficult for me, so I just kind of had to suck it up and do it. Because it's 21 days of just getting on your own case and figuring out how to do it. But listen to Christian music, hang out with Christian friends, have your Bible someplace where you'll see it every day, put sticky notes on your mirror, just do it. It also, it also helps if you have an accountability partner, someone that's also going through the 21-day challenge that you're going through, and they can help you every day. Shut up. <laughs> okay. 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 So this, okay. going off of what they said, it does help to have a friend commit with you. Like this may sound weird, but I committed with Steve. <laughs> 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 okay, it's not that funny. Okay. 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 And, but it is really good to have a friend to help you with it, help you through it, help keep you focused and on track with God. <laughs> no. I just, um, we, I remember last time uh, we had an experience, um, we did a lesson and we talked about a bunch of different um, people in the Bible, whether we're looking at Elijah, um, he slayed the prophets of Baal, um, and then, so that's kind of like a mountaintop awesome experience where God did something amazing, and then immediately after, um, he thought that she, <laughs> she was going to kill him, the Queen Jezebel, and he took off running, um, it, but we, we were talking about how you have mountaintop experiences and then you come off and you go into the battle. So, so it's something to remember that even though you had this amazing experience, and we're so, I'm so glad whenever they have because we need the recharge, kind of like what Faith was talking about with Christian music too, you need a recharge. Um, but you need to get ready for the battle. Get your battle gear on. Who was it? Melanie, was it you? Somebody, I remember when you shared your testimony, said, I need to get my armor on. That was Jenna. Jenna, okay. So getting the armor on, you know, get ready for battle, and, and then you can do it. God's got you. <laughs> Okay, uh, that 21 day challenge, there were four things that, that were to do. Do you, you guys remember what they are? Worship, get rid of the garbage, Bible study, and pray. Okay, you're welcome. So, worship, <laughs> study the Bible. <laughs> and that would be confession and forgiveness? Yeah. <laughs> and, okay, now I'm lost. Anyways, it took us maybe, we, we took like 30 to 40 minutes 
and there were a lot of us doing that. Um, that's something I want you to put in your head. I know that you can find 30 minutes in your day, knock off a little bit of Facebook time or time in the mirror, or you know, there are a lot of things we can knock off. Well, you know that video we saw, the guy, I mean, he was constantly in the mirror. Can we yeah. do that? Yes. Yeah. Let's all admit it. But I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> John, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no uh, my mirror it does not say it's my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually no, says you're all awesome. Heather, is he lying? <laughs> he he leaves up 30 minutes. He, spend, 30 he spends 30 minutes, an minutes, an minutes a day for your 21 days, and then it's going to be a habit, and don't stop it at 21 days. And if you if you didn't get yourself a partner, get one, and you just like hold, hold each other's feet to the fire, make sure that you're doing it. Does that mean threaten people? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Threaten, I just wonder. You're you getting off their Facebook over and over again. It's a little bit, yeah. a little bit like that. You know someone's Facebook stalking you when they like a picture from two years oh, yeah, ago? Exactly. Okay, so, you guys have anything to add? That means I'm going to go find Rachel's got something to add to that. Yeah. Um, back when I was in Guatemala a few years back on a mission trip, we had a speaker come, and he was talking about the high that we were going to like come off of when we got back home and he was telling us ways to deal with it. And I'll never forget, um, like, it made such an impact on my life. He talked about how the high with you have on a trip or on a mission trip or anything like that, it's kind of like a surfer has when they're out surfing. And they just want to go catch that next wave. They want to go and experience that again and again. And he said that you can't get addicted to the high. You have to get addicted to God. Like, you don't want just the excitement of, oh my gosh, I'm forgiven, and God's great, and everything. You have to have that same faith that you have when you have that high as you do when the high is gone, and when you're in the valley, and when things are bad, and when Satan's attacking you, and when things get tough, you still have to have that same drive, and you can't give up. Well, uh, yeah, I just, uh, one of the other things that I've heard people talk about, and I think we've, we've gone over this a little bit before, but uh, we've studied what happened, and if you look at the Old Testament um, and the armies of Israel and whatnot, you, you often find that um, when two armies are uh, ready to attack each other, ready to go to battle, they're up on hills, and what's in the valley is where all the fighting happens, where all the action is. And so it's similar with the mountaintop experience that, you know, you're up on the mountain and you're leaving the, the spiritual high and going into battle. And that's like the mindset I think you need to carry. Because people, they come off the mountain and they're all happy-go-lucky and they walk right onto a battlefield and then they're surprised when they get hit with a cannonball, you know. Or they just get run over by a Mack truck suddenly of, of, of spiritual, like, brokenness. And they don't understand, you know, what, what happened. Well, you're on a battlefield. What do you expect to happen? You're gonna you're gonna get mauled if you're not like prepared spiritually. You know our battle. Ephesians chapter six says our our battles uh, not against flesh and blood, but it's against spiritual principalities and powers. So that is evidence of that scripture just being all true every time. <laughs> There's six guys in a van. Six guys in a van. You take one out.